We are in striking distance of Election Day. We've got three days to go. Donald Trump is campaigning in Florida, North Carolina, Colorado, and Nevada this morning, while Clinton is focused on Florida specifically. New Fox News polls show that there is a tight race nationally. Take a look at the numbers. Clinton leading Trump by two points in a four-way poll, but in a head-to-head -head matchup, Clinton is ahead by only one point right now. Trump is touting the recent polls, and he is talking about it to supporters. Watch. Have you been seeing what's happening with those polls? They're like rocket ships. They're like rocket ships. New polls just out have us with a very substantial lead in Ohio, nationwide, many of the states. Please take this energy out with you here in Cuyahoga County every day is election day. We can have the biggest turnout in history. Joining, in this, joining us right now is Ohio State Senator Capri Cafaro, along with Trump surrogate and former Apprentice contestant Aaron Elmore. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us, Senator Cafaro. Good to see you. These Thank poll you. results really well within the margin of error. What's That's your right. take right now, and how does it feel in Ohio? Uh, well, I think the polls are right. Um, you know, and I've been saying this all along for months and months, Maria. You and the crew there know this. I mean, the the, uh, the mood here in Ohio, while Hillary Clinton certainly does have. Um, a robust ground game. Um, at the same time, you know, the, the momentum and the energy is on the side of Donald Trump. And so I think that, and it has been, frankly, for, for months um, because of his message on trade. And, um, you know, I think at this point, um, you know, it's going to be hard for Hillary Clinton to pull it out. What we do, um, we are overperforming. Um, Democrats are overperforming Republicans in early voting. We have early voting here right. up until tomorrow. But frankly, that doesn't really mean anything, in my opinion, because because you could have Democrats, union guys pulling a ballot um, for Donald Trump, and you could have suburban Republican women voting for Hillary Clinton. So yeah. saying Democrats are overperforming in early voting is, I think, a misrepresentation. You can't necessarily read into what the early voting um, you know, models and statistics are showing us. Wow. Isn't that interesting, Erin Elmore? I mean, here you have Hillary leading in the polls, and yet when you look at where the excitement is, when you look where the early voting is, when you, when you look at just small business and the enthusiasm there, they're for Trump. I couldn't agree with Capri anymore. Basically, I'm in the state of Pennsylvania, and there, there's the same enthusiasm, yeah. the same love for Donald Trump, and as you can see from the polls, they're neck and neck in Pennsylvania, too. So the momentum is really shifting hmm. towards Donald Trump. I also do think there's a phenomenon sort of, it's been called the Wilder effect or the reverse Bradley effect. Reverse Bradley all, effect, yeah. It's totally, where people are scared to say they're supporting Donald Trump because the next thing the Democrats are going to do are bully them into submission and call them a racist. They're going to show up on Election Day, and they're going to vote for Donald Trump. So the Democrats need to have a little bit of fear. Yeah, that, that's what we've been talking about. These a lot of uh, groups who basically are they don't want to say who they're voting for, Dagan, and, and you know the, it's, maybe they're not being captured in these polls. Well, I'll point to the new Fox News poll. When you look at the four-way race, that includes Johnson and Stein. That there are only four percent of people who are undecided, which right. is lower than it has been. It I mean, it, and I made I made Lee make a face just <laughs> now by saying that. And if you look at the breakdown of Democrats supporting Clinton and Republicans supporting. Trump, and it's something that we've been talking about here in the last many weeks. 90% of Democrats are for Clinton, 85% are for Trump. Trump needs to get those numbers up even further and into the 90% range. Mm -hmm. Wow, and you and said Trump, what did Romney yeah. have? Uh, I remember you were, you were talking about 90, 90, north of 90. A north of 90. Yeah, he did. I do think that right now we're seeing that number is increasing because there are a lot of people who are going to say, I couldn't vote for Donald Trump. And then WikiLeaks has come out and they're saying, mm. you know what, I'm not sure that I can let this go to Hillary Clinton. I, I think we need to make this happen. So mm -hmm. even though we're seeing the number stabilize as a result of that, I do think that these numbers are going to come out higher. And we've seen in the primaries that Donald Trump outperforms the polls somewhere between five and six points. So that reverse Bradley wow. effect is real. Yeah, I think, real. I think there's yeah. two, two takeaways from this. One is that I think Trump's base, because they've been villainized so much throughout this campaign, being called deplorables and shame on you for supporting Trump and trying to express your blue view, I think they're going to come out. I don't think there's any issue in that. So I think that actually helps a lot of, and, and lends a lot of credence to him, no matter where the polls are. But I think the
the second thing to take away is from the Fox News polls is that his numbers are better on the economy. Mm, yeah, and absolutely. so when you saw that happen, that's when his polls started to rise. And right here at the Fox News poll, it says 52% Trump, 44% Hillary Clinton. And that's a big spread on who can do better for the economy. Yeah, Capri, at one yeah. point it was all about the economy and jobs. And then we moved over to corruption and people wanting right. the end of corruption. But jobs still incredibly important in terms of what will drive the vote. Sure, and, and I think when you look at some of the places that Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, frankly, both are going, mm -hmm. um, you know, they are trying to bring home their economic message. Um, Hillary Clinton, I think, is trying to focus on um, increasing the, per the uh, participation of the African American vote, which is lagging from 2012, which, you know, is not necessarily surprising because obviously we had the first African American president on the ticket. Let me just quickly say something about um, the Fox News poll. In looking at the top lines yesterday, um, you know, really when you take a look at it, it shows how divided the nation is. Both of these candidates are equally as unpopular, yeah. um, but both of their negatives are sticking. So you look at the issue of temperament, for example. Donald Trump is still lagging with, in temperament. People are still concerned about nuclear weapons and Donald Trump. On the flip side, people are, do not trust Hillary Clinton. Her untrustworthy numbers are very high, and people think that the uh, FBI investigation is something of significant concern should yeah. she become president of the United States. Yeah. So it's anybody's game. I also think those lead. enthusiasm numbers are, are something that's, that, that's really interesting. Absolutely. So Hillary Clinton's enthusiasm in the last week has dropped by seven points, and that's yeah. significant on what, how you're going to turn out at the polls. At the same time, his has gone up in equal measure, and her trustworthy numbers at their peak were 45%, and right now they're at 31% in this wow. latest poll. That is a big difference.